Good morning everyone. It's been a very long time since I've done this, but we're just gonna give it a run anyway. I haven't filmed a video in probably about three months. I've been very busy renovating my house, been on holiday, basically putting everything else in the forefront before YouTube. But we're out here today. I was meant to have a few people out on my boat with me. That's it there, the top ender. We're gonna go out for a fish and just have a pretty easy day, but I had a few last minute cancellations. So what that meant is I've thrown the dogs in the boat with me this morning, which I haven't actually had them in this boat before. And we're just gonna go out now and see if we can catch some fish. I've lived in Karatha and the Pilbara now for about almost two years. And one thing I haven't actually done is gone up the flying foam passage. I normally, in all honesty, I normally head west when I do most of my fishing and diving. So. Today I'm sort of heading in a northerly direction from Dampier. We're gonna head up Flying Foam, which is part of the Burrup Peninsula, and which is basically what I named this YouTube channel after. So I've changed it from my personal name to Burrup and away. If you do some Googling, you'll work that one out, but beautiful spot as you can see behind me. I really, really love it, and that's why I love it so much that I decided to name the channel after it. So I've got the two dogs here, Gothic's away, digging in the background there. Elmira is here. They're my, they're my two Dobermans. They do like to bark and whine a little bit. So if you don't like that sort of noise, uh, they're probably going to annoy you a little bit today in this video. But I'm just going to shut the camera on my head. We're going to use the electric motor out there. I've got some fishing gear. I'm not going to jump in for a dive today because it's just me and the dogs in the boat. I don't want to leave them in there alone. So we're going to go out there, do a bit of a shallow water session and see what fish we can catch. Hopefully it all goes well. I don't really need any fish at home, so I'm not desperate for it. We're just gonna have a bit of fun and see what we can come up with. And if we get anything nice, we'll keep it. Otherwise, yeah, just a beautiful day. Dogs have got their life jackets on. Safety first. This guy will probably drown if he fell in. Elmira's all good. Big dig, mate, big dig. So yeah, check out the water behind us. Here's the boat. Now normally I'd be running a heap of camera equipment, I'd have my drone, everything like that to make it what I feel like is a really uh, high quality video, but today I've only got the GoPro because I didn't plan on filming whatsoever. I just like to have it on me in case I decide to jump in and spear a fish. That's probably not going to happen today because I think the dogs will try to follow me in. We'll just go out fishing. It's all going to be filmed off the one camera. We'll try and make a time out of it. We'll get out there. We've got a few hours before the wind decides to come up and let's go get some fish. Come on, Gunfeeds. Come on. Come on. This will be interesting. This is actually their first time in this new boat. I've had it for about six months now, but I've never brought them out. So, oh. Here, mate, come on. So the main reason I like to chuck these life jackets on, Guthix, oi, 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 Guthix, come here, come on. Main reason I like to chuck these life jackets on more than anything is so I've got a handle to hold on to. If I need to lift them, which is the case here. Elmira, come here, come on. Come on. We'll try, we'll try to get her in the boat. Yeah, come here. Ready? She might hate me for this, but... Ugh. In you go. Right, that's one. She's about half the size of he is, so... Gothix, come here, mate. Come on. Come on, come be with Elmira. Come here, come on. What I'll do... So I'll just spin the trolling motor around a bit. Guthix, come on, mate. So what I'm doing here, just gonna engage that prop. We'll straighten the boat up a little bit, back it right in. So that lazy old boy there can come back around. So if I just reverse the head of the trolling motor like that, using the remote, 
Hey, oi, oi, where are you going, mate? You're going too far. Come here, quick. Come here, come here, Galtix, come here, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Come here, quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, come here, come on. Come here, mate. Oh, oh my God. All right, it's already shambles. Come here, come on. All right, we're back at square one now. Guthix, come here. <clears throat> come here, come on. Come on, come on, come here. I figure I'll just show you guys this in real time because it's all gonna be pretty interesting and realistic, I guess, because this is what a day on the water looks like with these two. It's not all rosy, it's um, definitely interesting. At least I can float him like an esky. Hey, come on. Come on, in you go. Yeah, up, up. Here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come here. All right, put the camera down for a second. Oh. Alright, we are in. I'm ringing wet. They made that way harder than it needs to be. This dogs and kids are the same, eh? Where you can tell them something to be simple if they just listen to you, but they decide to do the things their own way. Now I look like a drowned rat. They're stressed out, but they're alright. Got the remote here, so I clock will take that off. Yeah. Drive us out a bit. We're probably literally gonna do most of this. Off the electric motor today. I'll get us a bit over this way and then we'll see how we go. Hey. So I'm just getting us out off the beach. Nice clear water. I am devastated that we're not going for a spearfish today. It's neap tides, so we only sort of get these every fortnight where it's a pretty slack tide like today. You can sort of beach the boat and not have to worry too much about it or anything like that. Just got to make the most of these days when they come around. Okay, so what I will do here now is turn that off, straighten that up down there. All right, so I'm gonna lift this. We're gonna go for a bit of a drive and then we'll get the fishing rod out, some soft plastics. Boom, there's the yummy at the back. One of the biggest problems that I've been having with consistently making YouTube videos is the fact that I really just do not have time, as cliche as it is. It takes up a lot of time to make a YouTube video. It's sort of a day out fishing, a day out filming, sort of, probably only every one in three or four of those days is good enough where you feel satisfied to get a video out of it. Then you gotta go home and normally, typically I'll sort of put about three to four nights of editing into a video. Whereas if I sort of go for more this style, like I'm doing today and just film, just cruise along, do it simply on one camera, more of a live stream type video, then I'll be able to pump these out more. Let me just clean that lens quickly. Now, I would actually love to start doing live streams, but the problem with being up in the Pilbara in Northwestern Australia is we're quite remote and there's basically not any reception to do a live stream out here. So 
everything that we film has to just be filmed at the time and then posted at a later date because we won't get enough reception anywhere. Elmira, in, come on, in the boat. Come on, back here, back here, don't. She's trying to go again, here, in. Yeah, so as much as I want to do a live stream, I'd be very, very governed to where I could actually film something in real time and share it with you guys. So right now, we're just off the dampier side, down near all the gas plants and the Rio sites and all that sort of thing, and we're just going to be heading up into the Flying Foam Passage. Plenty of boats and jet skis out today. We've got one squid jig there, but the main culprit I'll be using here is just this plastic here. That's just a jerk shad on a 3 8 ounce jig head with about a 5 bow hook. We're going to cruise out with that. I'm going to chuck the camera on my head when we get out there and then see what we can catch. Just do a nice slow troll along. Thirty-nine hours on my boat now. Had it for about almost six months, I think. That was my last trip out there, 47 nautical miles. Reset that. Rightio. So I'm sorry for not having the drone today, because the drone would make all the difference being able to film this sort of stuff and really show you what this place is about, but you get the idea just by having a look around. So that's the passage we're gonna head up through there. It's only seven and a half meters of water. We'll get up in there, we'll take a quick. So I'm just gonna steam it up a little bit, find some nice rock crawls I wanna drop the motor in on, and then we'll go for a bit of a troll along and see what we can catch. Deep in the passage now, smack bang in the middle of it. Okay. Right, so I'm just gonna aim for that little rocky island over there first. See here is Glassy is glassy. I'll shut this motor off in a minute and we'll just troll on in. And yeah, this is my first time ever being up here, so we're just gonna go suss it all out and see what fish we can find. I'm not really too stressed about 
what happens today it is just one of those days where you're happy to be out here because look around at that which is beautiful so while we're still a little bit off the island i'll just show you guys bang turn that off i'll trim this motor up so there's no chance of it hitting any reef anywhere which has happened dogs are chilling hopefully they don't jump overboard we'll get the electric motor Whee! into the water something just splashed out of the water there really do have to love those lots of day now i'm half convinced that the dogs are going to uh they're going to look at today or in the water at the moment sort of like it's a footpath because it's so glassy and i'm half expecting that they're going to try to jump off into the water so hopefully that doesn't happen. You can see my little little wake there coming from behind the boat. That's just purely from the electric motor. And we're just gonna cruise on over, have a bit of a sound around. We'll start with that first bit of rocky outcrop in the middle there and just see what happens. Hey doggies. I love this boat so much. If you haven't seen this boat before, since I purchased it, I bought this one. New, I had it on year, uh, order for about a year to get it new. Saved up all my hard earned money for it and we finally got it. Hey, Elmira. Oi, oi, off there. Look what she's trying to do, stand on the front there. Yeah, finally got it. it. Took about a year. Very stoked to have it, but I've just recently been over to Bali about a week ago uh, and then just renovating my house in between so I haven't had much time to get out and film anything like I am today but we'll try and make something of today regardless of what happens it's nice to get out I like filming with the dogs nice sort of adventure get to show off what I call my hometown now Karatha and Dampier I love it here so much yeah Simple stuff, eh, hey, mate? My dogs definitely don't know how good they got it. They live an awesome life, but they still want to sit on the boat and complain. So at the moment, that's just what we're seeing down the bottom. No secrets about where we are. We're straight up the guts of flying phone passage. And I'm just seeing sort of pretty flat bottom at the moment. A couple of fish down low. Still just running the chart at the minute, but I will switch that all to sonar. Get over to here, we'll have a flick. Hopefully the dogs don't go overboard. Shush mate. Alright, so I'll chuck the GoPro on my head in a second. I'll grab that rod that's behind me, soft plastic on there. We'll come into this and we'll have a flick. I said I wanted to keep this video as authentic as possible and simply edited and all that sort of thing. So if I have to yell at the dogs, if you hear them whining, if you hear them bark, if they jump overboard, it's all going to be in there. But for now, the camera's going to go on. We're just going to go over there, have a quick flick. Probably going to lose one of these two. And we'll see what we get. This is just what we're on at the moment, 4.4 metres of water, but as we're getting closer to the structure, there'll start being some fish there. So, let's whack this on. All right, hopefully that's a pretty good angle for you. I do have a foot pedal for the trolling motor, which is down there, but I'm too afraid that the dogs will step on it and then send us somewhere that we don't want to go. I'll almost guarantee. Because this is the fun part. Oi, 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 oi. You might hear a little bit of beeping from the remote, just so I don't really have much else of a choice. 
Yeah, while well, I have a bit of a flick, we'll just have a bit of a chat, see what we can come up with. Radio remote song. Let's set this to a very slow troll. Now I can set roots and all that sort of thing on this to get it just to work automatically for us, but I'll just stay in control today. Guthix. Mate, the people aren't gonna like hearing you whining all day. All right, let's see if we can come up with a fish. We've got no net today. Elmira, off there. Oh, there we go, first touch. Whee, that was a smack. There we go, first fish. Oh, oh, that was all right, that one. Elmira, off, off. Here, in the boat, come on. Elmira, lay down, lay down. It's one of the hardest things about having the dogs in the boat in the Pilbros. There's so many sharks up here that you really can't really risk having them jump off and just swimming around in the water dilly dally because there is always sharks around up here you too huh? Let's reset that one. I'm going to straighten up. I need a good drift going. If I decide when I'm editing this that the whining coming from these two is too much, then I'm just going to put a little bit of soft piano music in the background. Alright, here we go. This one out. Elmira, in the boat. Lay down. I think I might have landed next to something. Yeah. Hey, hey, there we go. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's Elmira in the boat. Hopefully this spits it. It did. That was a long tom or a pike or something. Elmira, back. I don't feel like rescuing a dog right now. Right, so that was first fish that I didn't want. Damn it, snagged it. Alright, so first snag, not ideal. I'm only fishing light, so I'm probably going to lose this. Definitely. So, I'll anchor lock this one and I'll re tie because I'm going to have to break that off. The angle that I got that snagged on is not a very good one. Alright, so I'll break, we'll get a new plastic on, so just bear with me one moment. Gothics. Watch out. Watch out. Alright, so we took that one on. So it took two casts to lose that one. Dogs should chill out in a minute, hopefully. With any luck. They've definitely worked out that if 
they won, they get their way, but unfortunately for them today, it sort of can't be the case. Because we're in, in the boat and on the water. You need not. Already got a bit of abrasion on the leader there from whatever I had before. So at the moment we're just at anchor lock, but let's set a bit of a drift again. Oh, there's something there that looks pretty big, to be honest. Let's see what that is. What is that? Hope, hope it's on an eel or something, but it's... Elmira, come here, Elmira, Elmira. See, that's what makes you fearful here is you see something swimming in the water you go oh that looks kind of big and then your dogs next thing you're trying to Elmira lay down in the boat or I'm gonna have to clip you up on your lead Boom. we'll get a nice fish we'll get something in there next to the uh, rocks in a second. Okay, Guthix, mate, please be quiet. I don't have to try edit your whining out. Just want one good fish. I was getting hunted again by another long tom. Elmira, get in the boat. I'm going to have to clip her in. Because Guthix won't jump over, but she definitely will. Elmira, back. And then this, uh, not my luck with her. This video is going to turn into a dog rescue video. Not what we're here for. Oh, there that was a smack. I just want to fight a fish. Join myself. Elmira, lay down please. Very shallow here as you can see. Don't you dare. Back. Elmira. So we've got little bombies and stuff down here underneath us. Just gonna do a bit of a twitch across the top. Oh, that's a good blue vine right there. Oh my God, is that a fish? That is a fish, oh yeah. I just saw a good blue vine underneath the boat, which breaks my heart. Oh, that breaks my heart big time. All right, so this one here is the dark tail snapper. Oi, sorry about that. Not ideal, probably can cuss him a little bit there, but he's similar to a mangrove jack, but he can go back. We don't want him. 
the blue bone though, that was awesome. He was just cruising along. What I'll do is I'll anchor lock here. Come on you two, lay down. Lay down. Right, so I'm just going to keep having a bit of a flick around here because I can actually see fish swimming around. And just flick towards these bombies. bit deeper water here enough to give the fish a bit of confidence We've got the jerk shot on so this is how I like to fish them just a little twitch sink twitch that's oh. a smack personally have absolutely no problem with spearfishing alone in most circumstances but I'll never spearfish alone with the dogs in the boat so I've got my guns down there but I do worry that if anything were to ever happen to me while they're in the boat and I'm not then there's nothing I can do about it and that would break my heart so days like today as much as I'd love to just jump in when I see a blue bone cruising around there we go, another fish. It um, this one's fighting like a wet sock, so don't know what it'll be. Might be foul hooked, little cod. These guys have sharp little points on the side of the gill. There, pretty good at spiking now. There you go. He can go back. Where I am right now as well is be pretty heavily fished and hit because it's a popular spot for tinnies and boats to cruise through on their way to the other marks for just on a nice family island day. But that being said, there's always plenty of good fish out and about around these parts. A couple more casts at this bombie, then we'll maybe circle around this rock wall here. can maybe switch from the plastic to slide dog I think very surprised I'm not getting anything these last couple of casts Keep on cruising, the dogs are probably giving me the illusion of them finally chilling out, but looks like they're chilling out a little bit. We've got three fish hooked up so far. Oh, there we go. That's, oh, that one's got a bit of a fight. 
bit of a tail fluke. Still only small though, because I'm on pretty light gear and he's, what is this? Oh, it's a little trout. Awesome. So, that's pretty much the fish of the Pilbara, that one, the coral trout. It's only a small one, so this guy can go back. Nice and healthy. Whee! Sometimes you want to release them slowly, sometimes they just decide for themselves how they'll be released. So, he went back good. But where there's one trout, there's always more. Just doing a bit of circle work at the moment. Now definitely, once I get a few thousand dollars spare that I can justify blowing on the boat again, I'm definitely going to put another sounder up the front here because at the moment I'm just fishing blind. I'm not down the back there checking what the charts are doing because it's way better fishing from the casting deck. So I'm just fishing basically pure off, purely off structure at the moment that I'm seeing with my eye and not looking for fish on a plotter. Come back around this other side here in a second. So we're sort of on a bit of a bank. I'm just gonna look for some bummies. What we'll do is we'll get up along the top here and we'll just flick in in front of all these rocks here and you'd be very surprised at what fish you can see especially when you get into spear fishing you realize there's no hard and fast rule about where fish will sit and live sometimes you see big fish and big sharks in the most unsuspecting places boat passing through over there. Okay, so that should be a good angle there for us to cruise through on. There we go. Oh, that, oh, that was a fish. Dropped it. Oh, I think that just bit me off, maybe. That was a good smack, so that was a good fish, whatever that was. Fully bent the rod up. Messed my plastic up. So what we'll do is we'll just anchor lock on this tip here, and I can see like a few little ledgy rocks along the front there, just going off my eye. Stay away from the rocks and not get too close. See what it was living around there and see if we can drag it out. Ooh. Guthix, lay down, go on. Lay down. Hey, that was another good fish. I'm getting some good smacks. I think the drag's 
Oh, there you go. This is a little cod, this one. So this one here, very similar to the Chinaman cod, it's another cod species, but it's a rock cod species, but this one's called a frostback. He's eager to go to, so we'll let him go. Fix up my plastic again. So it's sitting probably about 20 meters off structure here but it gives us a good chance to not spook the fish and sort of draw them out on a nice angle. You can jump over mate but you're not getting back in. Come on mate lay down, lay down on the bottom. Nothing there. So that one little rock cod then. So we'll spin around. Back in the mix. Quite sandy here. But you can see typically on a high tide, all these darker rocks here with the oysters and whatnot on them, normally they'll be underwater. Guthix is getting a bit whingy. Go on, go lay down, mate. Go on, go lay down on the bottom. Come on. Go on, lay down. Lay down, Guthix, and shush. If I throw him over and make him swim, he'll shut up pretty quickly. Nice, it's a nice bomb in there. Nothing in there. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh no, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's gonna take me in too. Oh no. All right, that's a good fish. I've got about a metre and a half a litre on. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. Boom, all right, so the bombing just paid off, whatever this is gonna be. Oh, is this a cod? Oh, it's a decent cod. <laughs> Hectic, oh, that's funny as. All right, so this is an orange spot, or an estuary cod. That's why he gave me a bit of grief there. So you just never know with these fish, eh? These guys will live in a lot of the same spots that coral trout will. I don't have a net, so I'm just gonna lead her in. Watch out, Garthix, watch out.
So, so here, let's have a look at this cod here. We'll bring him in. Watch out, Gus Hicks. Uh, uh, uh. Watch out, mate. Trying to death roll me. Trying to be as gentle as I can with him. There you go. That sort of orange spot. S3 cod, he can go back. Get a nice little release video of him. It's a fun little fish. The dogs are super interested. How are you? Hey? Alright, so there he is there. Very healthy. that right there is about as calm and relaxed as a fish can be because I've just released him the dogs want it instead of swimming away in a big dead rush he's uh, decided just to chill on the bottom there nice and calmly so shake a bit of water off the GoPro there yeah it's a good fish I'd prefer that if it was a coral trout or a bone about that size or even bigger but Still a good little catch there, so we'll keep cruising along these rocks here. Hopefully the dogs aren't annoying you guys too much and we'll see what else we can get. Elmira never drinks water from the bottle like that. Well, that didn't sound too good, did it mate? You want a bit more? Are you alright? Oh, radio. Give the dogs a quick drink. Right, so just some, just some one more. Oh, it's a good fish straight away. Decent anyway, not taking any line, but it's a good strike. Oh, no. Nah. Sorry, scratch that. I think that tends to happen with these cod and trout and stuff that have the wide mouths is you get the initial strike and you think bingo that's a good fish because they open their mouths and they just drag quite a lot of water in there might finally have the dogs chilling out for a minute i won't count on it That's a, there we go, that's a bit better, a little bit better. This might be a, possibly another small trout. Oh, it's a little frostback. Frostback cod again. So these guys are edible. And this is pretty standard size for one of these, but we're not interested in it today. go back so frost pack the identifiable identifiable by these markings on here the honeycomb pattern on them there he goes see them all the time spear fishing very large numbers up here
How good is that when the dogs are quiet? I don't want to jinx it, but finally got a bit of silence. So almost, oh wow, that was a good strike that. Damn, I wasn't ready for that one. I just went to talk. So we've got a wicked, there's a good bombing actually right there in front of us. So what I'm going to do is flick down on this one because I can see that from up here. That would have been a good fish, that one. That just pushed me up. So I'm just going to skip along on top of this bombing a few times. See if I can drag a trout or something off of it. Ooh. I just got smacked. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're coming up on it right here. Good bit of structure there. See, days like today are a bit harder to fish spot like, spots like these. As good as they are, is the, the clearer your vision, the clearer the fish's vision as well. So you sort of want to be a bit of a distance out so they're not seeing you or your boat when they're seeing your lure. Right, nothing that cast, so I dare say let's move. Find some new ground, maybe go fish some mangroves or something, but we'll go hit a new spot and see if we can find some more fish. Should chuck that up here. Let's pull this out. Boom. Two dogs in the boat, beautiful. Motor down. All right, let's go find another spot. You're right, mate. Good boy. Good boy. I oh, know. Dad's gonna go get you in the water. Okay. So that's where I'm gonna wrap this one up today. I've got my dogs down there with me. Yeah, today we just came out for a bit of a flick, for a bit of fun. Uh, the wind has blown up now. So as you can probably hear through the GoPro, the wind's changed significantly. So I'm not gonna hang around out here. I'm gonna beat the big rush back to the boat ramp. 
get the dogs back on land, get them a nice uh, drink of fresh water and whatnot. Long story short, today was just a day that I didn't really know what I was going to get up to. Just came out for a flick. I hope you guys have enjoyed catching up. I haven't posted a video in forever. Um, I will start posting videos again soon, hopefully. It's just, yeah, life's way too busy. Time is money. I'm a plumber by day, I don't do YouTube for income whatsoever. It just, if it makes income, it does. It doesn't really matter to me. I just work and do my thing. The boat's all paid for through my day job, so I just do this because I enjoy it. But anywho, I need to get back in, get the dogs back in, and rush all the other people back to the boat ramp. So thanks for watching. I hope you've uh, enjoyed what I have filmed today and posted. Just a few small fish, but a little bit of fun and whatnot. And I'll see you guys hopefully soon.